Hey guys, I just wanted to go over an a couple examples of finding the instantaneous value of an AC sine wave. So um, find the instantaneous value of voltage at 30 degrees and at 170 degrees. So we know that an AC sine wave consists of 0, 90, 180, 270, 360 degrees essentially and your maximum value of voltage occurs at its peaks. The peaks are occurring at 90 degrees as well as at 270 degrees. So here we have 160 volts being generated at 90 degrees and 160 volts generated at 270 degrees. The question is asking me the instantaneous value of voltage at 30 and 170 degrees. So basically any voltage that's generated at anything other than maximum or peak would be considered an instantaneous value. And there is a formula that we use to find instantaneous and it is. So the lowercase e is the subscript for instantaneous. E instantaneous equals E max times the sine of the angle theta, or in our situation here, the sine of 30 degrees or the sine of 170 degrees. So using this formula, we will find how much voltage is being generated at that particular time in our cycle. So our E maximum is 160 volts times the sine of 30 degrees. That works out to be 80 volts. So just showing roughly here, so this would be zero, this is 90, so probably around here, if we were to put this on our oscilloscope, we would see that we're generating 80 volts at 30 degrees, okay? So the next um, problem or, or voltage that we're looking to find is the instantaneous value of voltage at 170 degrees. So again, our E instantaneous is the value that we're looking for, is your E max times the sine of the angle, and in this case, it's going to be 170 degrees. Again, our E maximum is going to be 160 volts times the sine of 170 degrees. Our E instantaneous of this works out to be 27.78 volts. And let's now have a look at that on our sine wave. So at zero, we're generating minimum to none, negligible amount of voltage. 90 degrees, we're generating maximum 160 volts. Back down here, we're hitting 180 degrees of the sine wave, um, generating again, zero volts minimum, negligible. And then here at 270 degrees, we are generating 160 volts. So when I'm talking to you about 170, I'm actually looking to be around here. So this is 180, so around here. Okay, so visually you can see that if I'm at 160 here and 30 here, that this is gonna be a lower, small, smaller value of voltage, right? So it works out to be 27.78 volts at 170 degrees. Hope this helps you guys. So anything that occurs other than maximum is considered instantaneous. Um, if I were to ask you what our peak to peak voltage was of this sine wave, you would simply add your peaks together, okay? So it would be peak to peak, would be your maximum to your maximum, 160 volts plus 160 volts. Peak to peak works out to be 320 volts. So peak to peak is from this point to this point here. Thank you.